Hi, I'm Dave Dunapace, and I'm here with a tip about putting. And I'm going to call this a snake strike putt. The reason why I want to call that is because I want to give you the idea what the rhythm is like on the putt. A lot of people go through their whole disc golf career never learn how to putt. This is a tip that will help you learn how to putt. Basically, you want to keep your, your rhythm and your stroke, which is the wrist action, straight at the target. Short, straight, and quick. The most important part about that short, straight, and quick is a sudden stop. Because the sudden stop is what ejects that disc. And a lot of people are going like mushy kind of thing and letting their hand go and letting the disc fall out of their hand, stuff like that. You don't do that. Just like a drive, you stop your hand and that disc ejects from your hand. The reason why you want to do this, you want to narrow the window down really tight for your missing. You can still miss, but you can't miss by much when you do this. When you have a very short, quick pop stroke, your window tightens up a whole lot on what you can do left, right. In the camera, watch the wrist action here. And I miss slightly to the right, no big deal, still goes in. That one went right on the pole. Wrist action very short, very crisp, and stopping dead stop. Never going past the pole, never having any side to side wrist action. Straight at the pole, short, crisp, chop with a dead stop right on the pole. Yeah, you can miss high, you can miss low, but you're not going to miss much. Learn to putt like that and it'll narrow the window down for your putt and make you a much better putter regardless of what type of putt that you use. But this particular one, I think, has the best chance of succeeding for you. Well, that's Dave Dunapace with the Snake Strike Putt. Not only is Dave the creator of the flying disc that we enjoy, he's now going to help you get those things in the bucket. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, Billy.